Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. This is segment number two after we been disconnected. Sorry for this. MashaAllah, qadr Allah, mashaAllah, fa'al. And we said, bihasb ibn Adam luqaymatin yuqimna salbah, fa in kana la budda fa'ilan, fa thulusun li ta'amihi, wa thulusun li sharabihi, wa thulusun li nafas, li nafasi. That the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam discourage us to fill our stomach okay that and he said look i met morsel few morsels sufficient to keep you up with your activity for the day but if you really have to eat so don't eat more than your third of your stomach okay he said one third will be for your food one third for your drink and one third for to be able to breathe uh, so we should try to take this in consideration, especially those people who go to eat outside and go to restaurants, they call eat what you can, all you can for uh, $7, $10, and people go and eat and eat and eat. After this, take a walk in the aisle and come back again and eat. Uh, it is recommended that after you finish your eating that you wash your hands after you lick it of course that you wash your hands and also that you rinse your mouth uh, in case you inviting some people to eat with you from outside of the house you should focus of uh, of bringing and inviting the righteous people not any kind of company, any kind of people. The Prophet sallallahu is saying what the meaning is لا يأكل طعامك إلا تقي لا تصاحب إلا مؤمنة ولا يأكل طعامك إلا تقي Don't keep the friendship of anyone except a believer and don't take anybody to your house to feed him other than uh, a righteous person we understand because those people who come to your house it can be some kind of impact in your family and your children <coughs> excuse me as example if you bring in somebody to your house and they smoking they have this bad habit and they're doing this haram in front of your children this is a bad image that you bring to your house Nevertheless, we have to understand that the Islam recommended that we bring the weak and the poor and the needy to sit and to eat with us, okay? Uh, take in consideration also if the food available and the time is for Salah and you deserve the food or you desire the food that you should start with the food first, okay? لا صلاة بحضرة الطعام ولا هو يدافع الأخبثين الأخبثين uh, No prayer in the presence of food or while a person has the urge to use the bathroom So in a case that a person really desires the food that strongly recommended that you start with eating so when you pray that you be mindful in your prayer thinking about the prayer not about the food uh, it is discouraged by the prophet وسلم, to drink while you're standing up and also you treat the food in the same mannerism uh, when the Prophet وسلم, used to drink, he used to sip the water and take it in three different uh, times. So he did not go and keep drinking, but you drink a little bit and put it down, and after this you go again number second time and the third time. 
and also it is discourage and dislike that a person to breathe into the vessel that he's drinking from it. This is a general, general uh, etiquette of fooding or eating and drinking, hopefully inshallah, that we grab some of this, that we try to have it to be our behavior, our mannerism while we eating, and also to teach our children, our family about it, and to try to practice this and especially being careful of eating or drinking with the left hand because this imitation of the shaitan. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to teach us what is beneficial for us. Thank you for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I'm your host Muhammad Adli from Columbia, South Carolina. Assalamu alaikum.